everyone it's Christina I'm just back to do a little update so um, this is um, the next page that I did and I was messing around with the um, the back stitch that goes when you go back into the stitch it's into the stitch before not under and this is where I've been doing a lot of the little stitches that we've been doing on the stitch wheel and practicing just making some different ideas for flowers, French knots, daisy stitch, um, I forget what that's called. It's got the wheel, it's like a wheel and you weave. Pistol stitch and the different learning what to do and what not to do with this clothes fly stitch, which is what I'm up to on my wheel. Okay, so just following along with Kathy and so um, split back stitch, just made some little leaf outlines. Now I learned by doing, doing it wrong, um, that you have to start on the outer edge of the leaf. Okay, so we're just doing one little stitch into the middle of there, the leaf. Now what we're going to do is do this fly stitch, so up on either side. Now, as with the fly stitch, we've got the loop, we come down over here and we're going to come up. At the end of that point that stitch so we're making a Y or a fly stitch and we're going to secure it and we're going to do that now I probably should have done it all in one color um, because I can see here that there's a bit of the thread throat showing so I love watching um, other people doing things and often often uh, you can muck around. You don't have, have to have it all in a perfect order. So just coming up the end because I just want to cover that little bit of um, brown outline. Now it hasn't completely covered it but that's okay. I don't mind, it's autumn here, so I'm going for the two-tone look. <laughs> and just securing it down. So we continue that on all of the leaf patterns that we've got here. Just moving slowly up one more. Just a little bit. Back in on the opposite side. One more. And coming up. securing it down. So that's that stitch. Okay so there it is finished, clothes fly stitch and I don't mind that some of the other colour shows through a little bit. I didn't try to always cover it up because I thought it looked like autumn leaves so I really enjoyed that. Now we're just going to do open fly stitch. Now of course I'm doing it left-handed so basically one stitch up like we did in the last one. Just turn it. Once again we're coming to the middle of the stitch. Coming back up at the oops, coming back up at the end of the stitch. And then 
we're doing another stitch the same length. Now on this one I'll try and maintain them all being the same. Um, these are a bit little. So up on either side, down on the other side. And then coming up at the end of that stitch and then securing it on the little line we've drawn with the heat pencil rubs off and just continue that pattern To the end of the line. So now, one thing. All right. So here, here's some fairly regular ones that are all similar sizes and shapes but I know I did one I did one in here where I was having a little play here where I didn't put I just secured each bit but I didn't put a line I don't know if there's a different name for that but that ended up I did it all different sizes so on, on mine I'm thinking my needle back that I might just finish this line a bit of trouble with the uh, the other end underneath don't want that twisted securing that last one down so I'm thinking on these ones I could aim to make maybe that's too small to big now it's not always easy if you had your embroidery off the hoop be a lot easier to just manipulate the needle so I'm going to do a much bigger one so a small one then a much bigger one even a wide one it's just all experimental if anyone watches Ariane's YouTube, Ariane Zerka's YouTube, you'll see that she uses a whole heap of sizes and shapes to get variety. Just adds a creative element. So let's do some really little close one. close one there okay so this is open fly stitch OK, 
Okay, so you can see here that I have made small, large, large, medium. This one's had small, large, small, small, tiny, weeny. <laughs> and so this is a, I mean, I guess it depends on what work you're doing, but this for neat freaks, this for messy like me. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been practicing the Cretan stitch and because you would put an outline on it before or after um, I realized that my pen is showing I've tried to rub it off a bit but it, it's uh, probably going to be easier to do that when it's off the hoop so we're going to do Uh, so we need an outline and two middle bits and we're going to do like a Y stitch but it's like a staggered Y or fly. So my first stitch was into the outside on the left and came up on the right of the that line so there's four lines so it came up on line number three. Now I'm going to go down on the outer leaf and come up on the inside of, or come up on the line of the second from the left. Right, so I know this is hard for right-handers, but um, luckily Kathy does both. So I've come from that spot, I've come in on the outer left edge and come up on the right of the middle, the right line in the middle. And because I came up on the left, now I'm going to come on the right and then come up on this first line and just making sure that this is around over to the left up on the third line from the left and then up on the second line from the left Oops. just making sure that the hand threads around there now I've already used um, I'm going to go into the center of that floss there I've already used um, um, backstitch to create a stalk. Okay, this one is finished. One of the problems, I guess, with the, um, the rub out type of pen is that in these instances, you're just rubbing the surface off the material. Um, obviously it would be nice to get, um, for me anyway, in my experimental times here, um, a good water based one that actually does come off when you spray it. <laughs> right. Alright, so raised close herring pone. So we've got three quarters of the way up into the stem. But don't pull it too tight. Now as a left hander I'm just going to come into the right of the tip. Okay, stitch to the right and then we're going to go through the little stalk bit. Then we're going to take a stitch to the left. Come back up on the right. And back 
through this stalky bit from left to right. So stitch in at the left, out at the right. under left to right into the left up to the right under left to right And so on. Okay, so there we have it. This was the finished bit. I'll rub that bit off. So we've had uh, closed fly stitch, open fly stitched, cretin stitch. And the raised herringbone, close, close herringbone stitch. And that's it for this week with the, my little stitch wheel and my stitch book update. And goodness knows what I'm going to do in this next. We shall wait and see. Okay, thanks for watching and thank you very much, Kathy, for um, this project. I'm really enjoying it because there's so many stitches I haven't done before that I'm learning and... Uh, it's it, it probably looks to anyone else it probably looks a right mess but you know what um i'm learning so that's the most important thing so bye for now and i'll see you soon